about language? You know, I talked earlier about the fact that last year we launched both Poly and Lex, but there are so many other things that builders want to do with language. And one of the things that's been interesting is that there's so much data now that's, be, that's being locked up in audio and video files. And the problem is, practically, it's kind of impossible to really search audio well. And so the best way it's, it's turned out to be able to capture this and to do something with it is to convert it from audio to text. Traditionally, how people have done this is that they've hired manual transcription, transcription agencies and they're expensive and they're time consuming. And so what people typically do is they really only pick out the very most important things they want to transcribe and they leave all the rest on the table. All this data and all this value is sitting out there not being taken advantage of and leveraged. And so we'd like to change that for people. So I'm excited to introduce a new service called Amazon Transcribe, which does automatic speech recognition. So Transcribe does long form automatic speech recognition. It can analyze any wave or MP3 audio file and return text. It's super useful for all kinds of things, like call logs and subtitles for videos or capturing what's said in a presentation or a meeting. We'll start with English and Spanish, but we'll have many more languages coming in the coming weeks and months. And then one of the things that we do with this service, which is different from other transcription services, is it won't show up to you as just one long uninterrupted string of text like you'll find in other transcription services, but instead, we use machine learning to add in punctuation and grammatical formatting so the text you get back is immediately usable. And then we'll timestamp every word so you can align subtitles to the right video and, and that's much easier to deal with. We'll not only support very high-end audio, but because so much of the audio today is locked up in phones, you have to be able to deal with lower quality, low bitrate audio, and we'll support that as well here. In the future, what you'll see in the coming months, you'll also be able to distinguish between multiple speakers, and then you'll also be able to add your own custom libraries and vocabularies, because there are certain words that you may use in a different way than others that you want the service to understand so it can be used quickly the way you mean it.